Jury deliberations continue today in former President Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial. And a Supreme Court justice is rejecting calls to recuse himself from cases related to the January 6th insurrection. Good morning. I'm Windsor Johnston with NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Jury deliberations in the criminal hush money trial of former President Donald Trump are set to resume at this hour. NPR's Andrea Bernstein reports the panel will decide whether Trump is guilty of falsifying business records. Twelve members of the jury met in a room yesterday with no Wi-Fi, cell phones, and just two laptops to review evidence. In the afternoon, they asked to be read testimony of former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker. He's one of the alleged conspirators in a scheme to affect the outcome of the 2016 election by illegally paying people to suppress negative stories about Trump. The jurors need to decide unanimously if Trump caused 34 business records to be falsified and that he did so to influence the outcome of the election by unlawful means. Those unlawful means can be violating federal election law, falsifying tax documents, or falsifying other business records. Andrea Bernstein, NPR News at the Criminal Courthouse in New York. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito is rejecting calls from Democrats to recuse himself from cases related to the January 6th insurrection. The calls are in response to flags flown over his homes in New Jersey and Virginia, including an upside-down American flag. Lawrence Hurley, who covers the Supreme Court for NBC News, spoke to NPR about Alito's decision. He says the standard is that a neutral, reasonable and unbiased person would have to think that he needs to recuse and he doesn't think that that's the case. Justice Alito says it was his wife's decision to put the flags up, not his. Both flags were linked to supporters of former President Donald Trump, who falsely claimed that the 2020 election was stolen. Votes are being counted from elections in South Africa on Wednesday. NPR's Emmanuel Akinwatu reports early results project the ruling African National Congress Party is likely to lose its majority for the first time. Initial results project the ANC will have close to 42% of the vote, according to the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in South Africa. If the projections are correct, it would mean the ANC would need to form a coalition to govern, and it would be a dramatic turning point. The liberation movement led to the end of apartheid 30 years ago, and it has won every election in South Africa since then. But discontent with among the highest unemployment in the world, corruption and poor service delivery of essential needs like water and electricity has chipped at their support. Emmanuel Akinwotu, NPR News, Johannesburg. This is NPR News.